What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. If you guys have caught the previous streams or videos, uh, you will know that we have gone 07 in our last seven matches. <laughs> so let's try to break that streak and not go 03 today. Thank you. Super average. Thank you for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Hopefully the baby stays asleep. I'm going to take Coalition Relic. Keeps us nice and open. Oh, do we just take a Eugene? Following up a Coalition Relic. Also Cyclonic Rift. Cyclonic Rift or Eugenus? I think Eugenus is a little better. Again, it doesn't commit us to a color. Oh, what up, Monsonster? 41 holds no particular significance, but here we are. It's been a long time. It has been a long time. Thank you. Uh, Cyborg Yui with the resub. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate it. You're all awesome. I love you guys. So what are we what are we following up Eugenus with? Polluted Delta? Keeps us open. None of these other cards are super exciting. Sun Titan's actually pretty decent. I do like a Sun Titan here. See now we can get Oblivion Ring. Alright. I don't know why I put it in the sideboard, but. Oh, what up, Frollo Baggin? Oh, oh boy. Duplicant actually seems fine. I kind of like Charter Course here. Duplicant does keep us open. Okay, we took the Duplicant. I literally clicked. Did you guys see me click the Charter Course and then Duplicant ends up here? I mean, I'll take it because it's my other choice, but it's just kind of funny, I guess. Uh, Probably just going to take Mirror Battle Sphere and keep on this colorless train. I actually kind of like Realm Cloak Giant as a sweeper here. What if we're like a white, a white brown control Shut up deck? And take my money. Okay, I'll take some of the money. Jojo MK, happy moving. <laughs> Let's bring back those favorite and do a ladies' night. Draft all those single ladies and produce some girl for. Sounds good. Let's do that. All right, hold on. Let me write these down. I think I had one more I wanted to write down, but I'm not sure because I think it was from Juposhi last night, which wasn't a real stip. It was just like watch my video stip. Let me uh. Eh, Bermaz is alright. It's not exciting. It goes it goes reasonably with Sun Titan, but you know, it's probably the only thing we're gonna pick here, right? I don't think it's Baral, so we'll just take a take a this guy. Luminarch Aspirant. I'll get another card that goes decent with Sun Titan. I think we're just gonna be mono white brown. <laughs> which is weird. Jojo MK, thank you so much for the for the support. Really appreciate you, lady. All right, let me go over here. Okay. We also have a multicolor stip from the Urchai, which I feel like we could have easily done in, in previous drafts. Wall of Omens, I think Cast Out's better as a card, but I like Wall of Omens with things like Sun Titan and in this Control-esque deck. So. It 
And Neon Tokyo, actually, there's a mono black stip from you. So we have to figure out a mono black. Uh, I don't think Nyctos is... I, I, I'm, a, I'm not a big Nyctos fan. I feel like the work you have to put in to get Nyctos to be decent is just often not worth it. Uh, Hollow Spirit Keeper, not terrible. You can tap Nyctos for brown. That's, uh, that is a true statement. I finally got in and got my sub reestablished. Uh, thanks, dude. Be Sandusk. Uh, well, the move is this weekend. We, we moved some stuff last weekend and we're moving the rest this weekend. Everybody thinks the move has already happened. It has not. Most of it is going to be happening this, this coming weekend. So... Man, Warren Power Stone and Chromatic Lantern in the same pack. I actually kind of like Warren Power Stone here. Being able to ramp to like the sixes and sevens and eights seems pretty decent. I'm just going to take Warm Power Stone. Yeah, we could have had Grey Merchant and Obliterate. I actually kind of like Stoneforge here. Uh, I would definitely take Treasure Map over Legionnaire. We're not, we're not like, I don't want to be like a, uh, yeah, I, I think we're damnationing here. I think, I don't think we're any sort of white aggro deck. I think we're definitely leaning more towards the mid range control deck, which is why Day of Judgment is a good pickup here. Elite Spellbinder is a great pickup with Sun Titan, so we're going to take that guy. Although Honor of the Pure could be good, we just don't have the creatures for you. We have Luminarch, Stoneforge, Brimaz, Hollowed. And that's kind of it. Like, I just don't think we're... I'd rather have this guy. I kind of like Rydane. We're just playing three drops dot deck here. Could also take Everflowing Chalice. Yeah, I'm going to take Everflowing Chalice, actually. I like having a two and a four mana. Ooh, Gideon or Archon of Coronation. Man. This is actually a tough pick. I really like Archon. I'm going to take the Archon. <laughs> I think I just like it more. <laughs> so, uh, I don't think we're going to be Windbrisk Heitzing. I think we're already good on three mana. I'm going to take the Glorious Protector. We can also blink a bunch of our guys and then Wrath. Let's take Sword because we have Stoneforge. Spectral seems fine. I don't think we're Legion's landing -ing. I'll just take the Spectral, I guess. Treasure Map. I like Treasure Map better than Porcelain Legionnaire here. I 
I kind of just want to take Gristlebrand because then no one else can have him. Uh, Honor came back. This is not bad. Rydane came back, which I actually kind of expected, and it is another four drop if we want to play it as such. This is looking pretty good. I'm actually liking the way this deck looks. I would love more spot removal like a swords. I love Elspeth Conquer's death here, and there's not much we're competing with, so we're going to take the Elspeth Conquer's death. <sighs> Scrubland lets us play this Gristlebrand a little easier. Gilded Lotus could be sweet. Also lets us play the Gristlebrand a little easier. Don't care about Gideon here. Flickerwisp is okay. Chat seems to eat my notification, but I suffer for 32 months. Where are my kudos? Oh, pernicious dude. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate you. Kudos to you dos. Also, Amiria's Call is just a nice land for this deck. I'm going to take the Amiria's Call, actually. Oh, Karn? That's kind of exactly what... Actually, Rum Cloak Giant's more like a 5-drop here. So I'm going to take this Karn. But also Batter Skull. Ooh. -wee. I'm going to take the Karn because I think people have significantly less incentive to take a Batter Skull since there is no Stoneforge going around. Skyclave Apparition is a banger. Especially with a Sun Titan. Yeah, we're just taking that. Okay, so this is our deck. <laughs> Seems good. We're done. Uh, Conclave Tribunal seems good. We do only have one Oblivion type effect. Could take Archangel Avacyn, but we already have 14 creatures and like two big threats. Uh, let's take out Hollowed Spirit Keeper. I don't think you're very exciting. I also don't think we're a Luminarch Aspirant deck, but I don't know if we're going to be playing it, but we'll take Unexpectedly Absent. Wrath of God, Bane Slayer. I don't think we're Ulamogging, even though we have Everflowing Chalice, Relic, and Power Stone. I think we just want Bane Slayer. I think Bane Slayer is actually a really solid, like, kind of a catch all. Good against mid range and, and aggro decks. Oh, sup, Alan? Eh, we'll just take Chopper here. I don't think we're going to be vindicating. Mimic Vat. Oh, uh, or Hedron Archive. Like, we don't have a ton of cards that are going to remove things. Like, we have Day of Judgment and Realm Cloak Giant, right? So I don't think Mimic Vat's where we want to be. Thank you! Scrubland. Oh, we're going to take Gilded Lotus for sure now. <laughs> Selfless Spirit seems fine. Oh, Alan with the resub. Like it. Really appreciate it, buddy. Did the Batter Skull not come back? Because that's kind of sad. Well, I'm going to be honest. I don't think we care about Stoneforge terribly or Luminarch Aspirant. And now this is going to go over here. I'll take a Needle Spires just in case. Yep, Showdown's pretty good. And now we have Needle Spires and Clifftop if we wanted to play it, which we don't. This is 22, and then we can add, like, the Mirror's Call is definitely going to just be in there.
You can be a two drop if you want to. You're a five. You're a land. Actually, I just kind of like Hedron Archive as, an, as the last card. I mean, we have 11 creatures, plus Karn, plus Ugin, plus Amiria's Call. So that's like 15 threats, Thir 14 threats. Yeah, I think this is pretty sweet. I like the way this deck looks. It, it will probably go 0-3. Because that's what my record's been. Two one at least. Undead Ninja, I appreciate it, buddy. We'll do it. We'll get it done. Two one it is. Uh yeah, let's keep this. Multi kick for one. Uh, I have actually not extensively talked about pro play going away. My thoughts are I mean, the current iteration of pro play was just not sustainable. Like, I don't know what I, I actually kind of don't know what they were thinking. Strider with the resub. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. If you guys have not done so, definitely consider subscribing or following on the on the twitch.tv slash Frank Lafort. It's a great way to support the channel. Okay, so they have two cards in hand. They're going to draw a Raffles. So I'm kind of just going to Day of Judgment here. Or, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if this ramped us into Ugin, I would do that. But instead... Just gonna day of judgment. The Rafellus only only ramps them one mana, so that's not the it's not the worst for us. I mean, I'd rather play. So I'd rather play. Power Stone when they don't have Oracle on board because they have the potential to hit like four lands with Oracle on board. So if we let them untap with Oracle and then it's like land, land, that's one thing. And then like that's like just drawing two cards. So like when we have two sweepers in hand, like there's just no reason to let them let them benefit from uh, four, five. from infinite potential land draws, especially because our goal is to reduce the amount, of, the amount of mana they have. Yeah, this is going to be like a Kogla. That doesn't have anything to fight, so now we get to Realm Cloak Giant and kill both of these. One, two, three, four. Actually, we just negative six, right? 
One, four, five, six, seven. Oh wow, this is this is bananas, and that is a monkey pun. Goodbye, little creatures. I'll see you sometime soon. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a floaty dragon boy. Yep, of course it is. Never get to keep this guy more than a turn. Goodbye, floaty dragon man. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four. Hey, I might as well play the land. I don't think they're going to make us discard anything, and I'd rather just... Second. Which one is Big Garrick? There's a seven drop, a six drop, some five drops. Good old realm cloak giant. Two C three G Garrick. What is what? What is that? What are you saying right now? Okay, we just won the game. Man. Hold on. I'm, I'm tweeting something. And I don't really... Sword of Feast and Famine could be decent with a Stone Forge. Let's bring in Bane Slayer, actually. I guess it, I guess it dies to... I guess it dies to Kogla. Honestly, what I tweeted was um, I really liked this, this Karn, and I'm like, oh man, this is only available as the box topper. So it's only available in foil. So I was like, what's the status on the UMA box toppers? Because I'd love to have like borderless Leovold in my cube but like if they're terrible and totally curled I don't want that so you know I think our deck is actually fine I do like Bane Slayer but my problem with Bane Slayer is that it still dies to Kogla I mean, this hand seems amazing. <laughs> Two sweepers and a sky clay apparition against the green deck. Your hand reminds me of a 
Kogla 19. What is that? that? I feel like that's a joke. And I, for some reason, I'm not getting it. Oh, that's very good. Wow. Was it a COVID reference? Was it a COVID-19 reference? Because <laughs> you're right, it's not very good. I expected better. Well, that's unfortunate. Wow. Seems good. Well, they got a 4-4. Might as well kill it. We have a Realm Cliff Giant. Um, I feel like we are going to board into like a more aggressive deck next round. Next next match, next game. We'll say it. We got it right. Oh, good. Still in the library. Oh, God. Sounds good. I mean, we can't keep up with this card advantage. Like, they could literally take a million and... Cool. Yep. Sounds good. Must be nice. Okay. Stoneforge, Sword, Aspirant. Take out Day of Judgment. Bring in Baney Boy. Spectral Procession is pretty good against their... Uh... Take out Power Stone... Maybe take out Glorious Protector. Dude, I keep getting calls from the same number, so I just picked it up. I'm like... My box number Gorgor's Vengeance is not bent at all. Someone else said, I have a set of tombs in my legacy deck, and while they have always been double-sleeved with perfect perfect hards, I don't know what that is. They have not curved at all. I kind of want Honor of the Pure as well. Like, maybe we just go more aggressive. I, I do kind of want Realm Cloak Giant. At the worst, it's like a 7-7. Seven, seven. Um, I do want to take one more card out. Take out Hedron Archive. Perfect cards are like perfect fits, but more solid. Interesting. Who makes them? Tweet from 34. I'm streaming on Twitch. Actual Twitch. Is I don't know why it does that. But I mean, like, both are true, right? So, you know. Oh, procession and a sword against the green deck seems decent. 
Would have liked this to be an honor. I mean, I guess. Okay, buddy. You need to take it easy. Animate wall, sword. Interesting. Maybe I see if I can grab. Well, here we go. A Leovold. How much do those go for? Oh, you got big smugs over here, huh? Big smugs. Well, shooty duties. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next three we can play Karn, which is very, very nice. Definitely not going to attack here into their big smugs. Wow, regular Leovolds, like four bucks. Box top really of old. Fifty dollars. Well, I feel like they're doing very well for themselves. Oh good. That's gonna be fun. Actually we can just carn that, so I'm not super afraid of that. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have to carn it, right? We can't just Don't steal my turn. I don't want you to steal my turn. Don't steal my turn. I'm not going to get in there. I like the opportunity to block with all three if I if I'm able. Does anyone else think box topper is a silly name for something? Hey, look at this box topper. Like, that's, is that just me? Well, as I live and breathe. Yeah, I'm trying to get, I want to be on the, the afternoon schedule. Like, it's just better for me. I don't have to stay up until two. You know, I can spend more time with, with Katie at night. Like, it's just better for me. The problem is I get stuck doing chores and things during the day. Like, oh, let me just do these dishes or let me run these errands or, you know, let me, uh, Recently, it's been, let me pack some more. And uh, then I'm like, oh, it's three o'clock now. So it's not even worth streaming because Katie gets home at like five-ish. And, uh, you know. So then I'm like, all right, I guess I'll just stream at like nine tonight. And then I'm streaming until like one or two. And then I'm like, oh, I got to get to bed. Because if I don't get to bed soon, then I'm again tomorrow, I'm not going to be able to stream early either. So it, it ends up being this like cycle. Where like once I stream at night a little bit, it just kind of snowballs into more streaming at night. You win this round, Le Snore. <laughs> God damn it, Christopher. Dang it, Christopher. What's our opponent doing here? They have four cards. And glory bringer, right? <sighs> That's an interesting choice. <laughs> Trading your Arbor Elf and your Fellows for this. It's pretty interesting. There was time now. 
Dude. The Twilight Zone is one of my all-time favorite shows. They have five mana and they discarded Kogla, which is kind of interesting. I'm looking forward to sorting up this guy. There's no way they can have any. Actually, that's that's pretty good. Doesn't do much against us, though. What do you think of the new Jordan Peele Twilight Zone? I only saw the first episode, I believe, but I think it was good. I mean, Jordan Peele's really, really good. Yep, that's what I hate about having one fucking equipment in the deck when you... Because then you just get stuck with Stoneforge and it does nothing. I actually wish I had a way to sacrifice the Wall of Omens here. They're just taking eight. They're crewing. Okay, they're not even close to activating Golos, which is good for us. This is where I wish we had the Batter Skull, I guess. <laughs> Micro streams. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to make uh, our third pick in the second pack. I think it's this card. Okay, cool. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Really appreciate the support. And uh, see you later. I am on like the fourth or fifth episode of Invincible. It is very, very good. Please, no spoilers. I think we can actually just play the Stone Forge, right? Like, if it dies, fine. I'm going to search anyway, just in case. Oh, just checking. Micro streams is where it's at. Micro streams, the new normal streams. Thank you. Snoozle Moo with the resub. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. Wait, so we have two creatures? And... Hmm. So you have to have, like, a removal spell here. Or else we just get to be the monarch. Oh boy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and this guy. Yep. Oh boy. Look at me. I am the monarch now. Put a land from your hand on the battlefield. Okay, they didn't. I've never cared much for moonlit skies. We broke the streak. 1-7, finally. Oh, good gravy. On YouTube, your commercials are much louder than you are. Inter interesting. I feel like my volume is at a, at a reasonable level. I don't I don't know if it's a volume issue. I don't know what to do if it is. That's such a weird problem to fix because I don't know if it's the commercials are louder, if my videos are lower. I don't know if it's a recording issue, an upload issue. I think they just yell at kids to get their attention. Well, I'm sorry that my videos have child ads. I mean, after five seconds, I just skip them anyway. Goodbye, YouTube ads. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Thank you. J Chart with a resub. Let's celebrate my subversary with a trip to Chuck E. Cheese and Nightmare Spider, Rat Train, the whole gang. <laughs> okay, buddy, listen, let's not get it confused. Rat Train is not a member of the Chuck E. Cheese band, okay? You got Nightmare Spider, Pizza Rat, Pepperoni Pizza Rat, Jimbo the Sarcophagus, and somebody else. Yeah, let's just look. Let's just watch the clip and we'll find out. As many of the Chuck E. Cheese band characters as you can. Ratfink? <laughs> Ratfink. That's the other one. Uh, Jimbo the Sarcophagus. Oh, Lord. Why is it called the Sarcophagus? Pizza sarco Rat. Why is it called the Sarcophagus? Pepperoni Pizza Rat. <laughs> Just, just so you know, Pizza Rat and Pepperoni Pizza Rat are the same character. He's just wearing a hat. And, and Nightmare Spider. I think those are the members. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm sorry. What was what was the sarcophagus's real name? <laughs> you know. Jesus. It's just a very good series of... Of, uh five random names that you know make no real sense <sighs> michael b michael b i'm gonna keep up tribunal because i don't know if we want to uh I don't know if we want to Conclave Tribunal this or this. We could just be able to attack this next turn. We could also just do it to a creature next turn and kill the Liliana, so. Nightmare Spider, the children's character of Chuck E. Cheese. Hey, buddy, listen. No one ever said Chuck E. Cheese was for kids, okay? So we can go one, two, three, four. This will be two, three, four. Let's get rid of the Reaper. So Lily goes to one here, which is pretty reasonable. Do they serve wine at Chuck E. Cheese? That seems wild. Hmm. It's good. It's real good, actually. I might be regretting the Liliana decision now and then again we're just going to draw Ugin or Karn right treasure map not entirely the same but alright beer when I worked there That's interesting. Morgan, I also didn't know you worked at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> why is that? That's like, I don't know why that's hilarious. Man. Were you in the band? <laughs> oh, Lord. Yep. All right. Yeah. All right. Beer poured by 16 year olds who definitely knew how to avoid too. Wow. That's actually, you guys are impressive. block here this is this is pretty rough we should have probably gotten rid of the Liliana I'm gonna be honest but I didn't think they'd go choops I had to be the mouse sometimes <laughs> you know like you do well you know what it, it, it's Tuesday kids and on Tuesday, 
a random person gets to be the mouse. Are you getting Brimaz back? Sure. I mean, we're getting into damnation territory now. One, two, th yeah, okay, that's the that's the ticket. We do this for three. I don't want to do it for four because then they get their tribunal or, you know, then we like, I'm, I'm letting them keep this in. Uh, I guess we could also just kill this, but I really don't want them to have a create one. They could activate this and go after Ugin, but Ugin's going to be four. Let's put it on the board and see what it looks like. Kill Liliana. I guess we're killing her anyway with negative three. I, I just don't want to keep Jitte alive here, especially with the Brimaz. Uh, they can kill Ugin if they double attack. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Oh, and they get to equip too. Oh yeah, this was pretty bad. Yeah, I'm just like, it, it was. Yeah, Ugin doesn't kill Jitte. I didn't know that. I just didn't want them to have a creature for some reason. I f I don't know. Like, yeah, that's really good for them. I mean, we're still at twenty actually, so this isn't actually that bad. Get rid of that. Okie dokie. We're just going to kill this guy. If you want to keep activating Hissing Quagmire to get your counters, that's totally fine with me. I mean, the alternative was kill Liliana. Ugin goes up to, what, nine? They have Brimaz Chupacab. For fuck's sake, really? The turn after I'm going to... God damn it. That's, a, that's really annoying. Of course. <laughs> top deck of Nebraska, top deck of Plains. Seems good. Yep. Wait, what? Wait, what happened? Did they just skip their... T Wait, what just happened? The sad thing is, like, we don't have enough X spells to make this even worth it. Like, the Guild of Lotus is just, like, does nothing right now. That's really kind of weird. Where's my Realm Cloak Giant when I need it? Can we actually do both? Three, four, five, and then one, two, three. Yeah, we can actually Realm Cloak Giant and then cast the Realm Cloak Giant. Yeah, all right, we're just done. I'm just, I mean, we're taking what? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. They get more counters. Yeah, fucking amazing. Mono lands. Let's bring in sword. Yeah, I feel like the Ugin play was probably our our downfall there. That was probably our big mistake. Take out Gilded Lotus. 
take out Power Stone, I guess. Take out Day of Judgment, not Glorious Protector. Thank you! Right, like, I feel like if, if maybe my last, I don't know, four, like, four draws were not lands or artifacts, and uh, maybe they didn't top deck of Raska the turn before we got to activate our um, treasure map, but what are you going to do? Kind of like Luminarch Aspirant and, and Honor of the Pure, and uh, maybe we take out Everflowing Chalice and do the 41 here. <laughs> adds, adds four two drops. <laughs> Draws five drop, five drop, seven drop. But he keeps it because their deck is pretty slow from what I've seen. Oh, what up, Jimmy? I mean, the problem, so, so the problem is I don't want to alleviate responsibility, though, because, like, the problem with flooding is, like, when you flood or get mana screwed, like, you're, the play, there's so much more significance on your plays, right? So, like, if I didn't, if I plussed Ugin instead, I mean, it's very likely that we could have survived through the flooding because we just would have had a, a way to mitigate that, that sort of unluckiness unluck <laughs> wow marsh flats into fatal push how lucky it's going well going well <laughs> I literally boarded a bunch of cheap shit. Draw this. Oh, God. Yep. I guess we're just going to rum cloak because I'd rather get this guy off the board. This doesn't do anything next turn. I guess they could get back Dark Confidant if they want to, but either way, it's like it's going to take up their turn at least, or their activation. And they didn't do it. Now I want lands because <laughs> we're one land away from actually playing Karn and Realm Cloak Giant and two lands away from All right, I feel like we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Oh God, well, never mind. So long, Elspeth conquers death. May you never resolve once. And now Karn is worse? No, yes? This can't kill a Karn. So Karn goes to 10. I mean, if we play this guy, they just kill it with either this or Ravenous Chupacabra. Let's just plus here. We could exile this guy. But I want to be able to exile this. Eh, this doesn't do much. They can attack it for five and make a two-two. Just watch your double O three from yesterday. Oh man, it was a fucking wild ride, dude. Just bananas. Jitte. You got it. 
One land here is actually amazing, right? We can negative six, keep up Karn, exile the Hissing Quagmire. This seems fine. Come on, Landos. Lando Calrissians. Oh man, Lando, 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 Lando. Yep, that was pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so this is how we win this game. <laughs> Negative six here, right? Gets rid of this, 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 and this. And then we just get exile to Quagmire. Okie dokie. The move is obnoxious as hell, and that's just how moving is, Jimothy. Never gonna run around and desert you. Oh, I thought we put Spectral Procession in, actually. That's kind of funny. I did want it in here. Yeah, we'll keep this. Are you rickrolling us? I No, I'm just singing the song. Christopher, there's a difference. I didn't trick you into this rickroll. God. You know what, Christopher? Listen. Listen. Okay, Luminarch Aspirin off the top. Stoneforge Mystic off the top. Honor of the Pure off the top. Those are the three things we want to hit. Okay, another three drop off the top. I mean, I guess we could just play this guy into this guy or this guy. Yeah, that's pretty good. Never gonna give, never gonna give. give, give uh -huh. They didn't do anything. I'm just saying I'm never gonna give you up, guys. That's really... Oh, cool. Never don't have that guy. Well, you're fashionably late, but we are going to play you in hopes of just Realm Cloak Gianting before we have to commit anything else on the board. Ugh, that guy's good. I'll desert you. Fuck yeah, I'll desert you. We'll go get some pies, bro. Uh, okay, so you can take one of these two. Sure. Probably O-ring, right? Chris, what's your favorite dessert? Chris, can we go to Maggiano's soon? Oh man, apple crostatas are banging. I wonder if they're trying to take Spectral Procession and they're like, why isn't it letting me take this? It's converted mana cost three for you. <laughs> it's an easy question to ask. It's a hard question to answer. I mean, this is just what we got to do. Gonti? Tassigre. Okay. You got it.
Never gonna give you up. Gonna eat your tasty gray. Shrek is 20 years old yesterday. Shrek's like 100 years old. Shrek's a... Shrek's an ogre, guys. You know anything about Shrek. Oh, that's a good one. He's also a mass murderer. Affinity, bring it up. <laughs> oh, God. So, I mean, I just don't want you to have more cards, I guess, is really what it comes down to. <clears throat> sure, you got it. Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing. How many people do you think Shrek is killed? <laughs> At least 10,000. At least 10,000, Michael. What? Shut up, Michael. Yeah, you're right. But you said my name. Oh, wee. Exhume, what are they getting back? Big Choops? This doesn't seem great. I assume they killed Duplicant, so I kind of want to get Wall of Omens back just to draw the card. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, we got an ECD. And now we can get Duplicant back again? Oh yeah, this deck's doing what we want. Look at that boulder. What boulder? What are you talking about? He sounds crazy. I think we have enough guys on board to play this and feel good about becoming the monarch. Which duplicate art do I prefer? I don't know, actually. Let me look at them. I think this one, because I think the other one is kind of weird. But let's find out. Are you guys a duplicant or a duplicant? I don't actually want to attack here. If they have some shenanigans. Uh, hold on. Let's look at the... Yeah, okay. So there's this one. This one's all right. I don't hate this one. And then there's this weird one. This one I don't like. I, I don't know what's going on here, and I'm not a big fan of it. I, I think this one's my middle one, and I, I do like the original. I think the OG is good. Ooh. Elite Spellbinder. I put this guy on my cube. Oh, you're going to reanimate my... Duplicant. Okay. That is unfortunate. See what this can do. Show me what you can do. You got two cards in hand. Deal. Bet. A Golos and a trophy. I'm going to take the trophy.
seems fine. Also, if they actually Assassin's Trophy something, we get to play Realm Cloak Giant, so that's kind of cool. Again, we're not going to attack here. So they have one card. Wait, what? How do they have one card? Oh, because we exiled the other one. Yeah, okay. Now I'm like, I thought it just made it cost more, but no, it actually exiles it. And you can cast the exiled card for more mana. I don't understand Golos with like no splash lands to like, I mean, it's still fine, but like it's kind of meh. I mean, I'm just going to keep blocking in such a way that, like, we can whittle down their board. Because next turn we can just play Elspeth Conqueror's Death. Hmm. Two, three. Relic. Exile my own duplicant. Sad days. I don't think they're going to have a haste creature, so I'm actually just going to risk it here. Uh, I did not see any ban unban announcement, and I was definitely looking for one, so. There's Golos. I think this game is uh, way out of their out of their reach now. You know what? Just put a charge counter on it now. For the sake of my own mental time, it's, you know, thing, stuff. Ooh, let's do that. That seems good. And next time we can get either Chupacabra or Skyclave Apparition or Burmaz or doesn't matter. All right, we're 2-0. We're coming back. I wonder if we just want some of the more aggressive stuff in here. I don't know. I mean, I like turn two Chalice, turn three this into like this fat end. And I think it's been mostly fine. All right, we'll just try it, I guess. We're 2-1. It's good to board into that when your opponent has, like, is also more controlling. Is it just me or is this micro stream growing, going a bit long? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's been a weird, uh. Man. So two, the 2-1 dream is still, is, well, I guess it's always going to be alive. I guess the 2-1 dream is, Fulfilled. I like this hand. Best case 3 -0, worst case 2-1, yeah. I'm satisfied with both, to be honest with you. It feels it feel, just feels better to uh to have gotten gotten the dream. Uh let's wall of omens here. If you want to counter a wall of omens, you are more than welcome. Darth Squanchy. See what happens to this guy. Yep.
Yeah, everyone obviously Tainted Pact is the only thing on people's radar right now. So I mean, like, it's very, very possible that that is the. Um. The ban. Ooh, Fiery Confluence, play that. Oh boy, welcome to Never Don't Have It Town population, our opponent. I'm just going to play this face up like this, because if it dies, then we just, you still have a target for Sun Titan. I don't think the other side is really going to do us that much. Plus, if they want to kill it, that's fine, because it just uses their... Yep, that's what we were expecting. <laughs> they have three cards, huh? Well, we have two seven drops. Yep, never, never going to resolve. Fantastic. Man, I wish my blue red deck performed like this instead of the O3 that we that we managed. Ah, <sighs> boy. I guess they have two cards. Oh, three cards plus this one, so four cards, my bad. <laughs> fantastic I mean they're just going to bounce a land like obviously you don't bounce wall of omens uh, well it does say when, when, we, when we get paired up MTGO bot tells us that they are 1-0 so wait what oh they bounced their own snapcaster fascinating Works for me. I guess they get the plus Snapcaster Fiery Confluence here, which is pretty interesting. They can just go like destroy this, deal one to all creatures, and two to us. That's actually pretty good. Maybe Amiria's Call was the play in that case. Yep, that's exactly what they did. That's hilarious. Yep. <laughs> the exact thing I said, one of each mode. It's so funny how easily I can predict what my opponent's going to do and I still don't play around it. No, this is the round that counts, so we're not going to draw Ugin or Karn. Yeah. 
Yep. So I think every color should be tier one playable in every format. It's actually a good question. I mean, that would also imply f at least five tier one decks, right? Which I don't think is possible because you're gonna have some things that are better than others. So I think logistically speaking, that's actually not super likely. Because you'd have to balance every color to make sure that, that they have a, not only do they have a tier one deck, but they also have to be not overpowered as well. Plus for multiple formats, right? Like in a perfect world, it'd be great because then you have... Well, there's a difference between being tier one and being playable, right? Like if green decks in general are completely invalidated because of the tainted pack strategy, like, I mean, that's not healthy for metagames, right? Like magic is a five color, <laughs> fucking amazing. Magic is a five color game, not a four color game. I have not been liking Worn Power Stone or Gilded Lotus. Let's try it like this, I guess. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, this is a hand. Thank you. Music Manly, welcome back. My goodness. Took you long enough, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Thank you for the resub. Always appreciate it when my buddy Mediocre Music Magic Manly can, can resub. I'm laughing at my own meme. Oh, me, 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 me. I don't know. I'm going to stop talking right now because that didn't even come. Uh, from what I've heard, green aggro solely being and not viable is not the big problem, right? Like that's, I don't really want to walk into your counter spell here with my good card. So I'll let you remand my uh, crappy card instead. I saw Meteor Magic and was subbed and thought I was by proxy. Yeah, that checks out. Oh, they're missing a land drop. You there. Um, okay. Did they mulligan or did they just like keep two, hope that Roman gets them there? Which is probably fine. I guess considering they discarded, that tells me all I need to know. 
I also do want to hit lands, so we're just going to run this guy out there. And of course, this game we don't hit lands; we miss the land drop. So everybody, everybody's playing hard. Oh, missed another one. Oh yeah, keep them coming, bro, bro Cephas. I guess Amiria is a land drop. For some reason, I didn't even consider it that. Wow, that's kind of funny, actually. I'm sure they have Counterspell, right? You got to keep Remand Counterspell when you have... What? That's really funny. Like, sometimes I actually look at these and I'm like, that's no land. That's no moon. Another land? My god. One, two, three, four, five, six. Would you like to counter my riding? I don't think Historic is meant to be a turn four combo format. It's also like, what other legacy powered cards is it playing? Like, it's not, I don't really think it's playing that many. It doesn't even have fetch lands. This is actually fine. I'll just replay it. Personally, if I were them, I would have taken two and then bounced it at my end step so that if they draw like Flame Slash, they can kill this, but. Yeah, it has one fast fetch and like Fabled Passage, but I don't even, I don't consider it. So it's funny because I don't consider Fabled Passage a fetch the same way I don't consider Evolving Wilds a fetch. Like a fetch land to me implies that it can get lands uh, that are two or more colors. I can definitely see why people would call like Fabled Passage, Prismatic Vista fetch lands, but I, I, I don't consider them traditional fetch lands. Well, we're definitely going to sack that in response. And, you know... Be oh my god, I'm so mad at myself. I was like so in this conversation that I forgot to put a counter on this. But we didn't draw land anyway, so it's okay. Poor man fetches. You can get caught between the moon and New York. Wow, well, they do it? They just have all these cards that are just not... Okay. Sure, dude. Yield until the next end step, and then we can do our thing. I think combo is fine, but I also think combo that you have a hard time interacting with and combo that wins consistently on turn three or four is not okay. And I think that's the i think that's the 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 metric by which a lot of formats are viewed and i think that's correct mediocre music manly magic oh what <laughs> okay see that's funny that's that's good stuff ugan uh, four five yeah don't have a force spike, my dude. Don't have a force spike. You didn't have a force spike. I feel like this is good against a red blue deck. My username is funny. No, no, I would never, I would never insult. Uh, oh, God. It's getting hot in here. Oh yeah, Faithless Looting. <laughs> That's not a fetch land. <laughs> this is a fetch land. <laughs> That's a solid Crocodile Dundee reference. You seem so much happier than the start of the stream. You should win games more. I, 
Yeah, I was just really, I was actually having a really frustrating day where like, like a bunch of little things. You ever know when like a bunch of little things go wrong and like it's kind of obnoxious? I actually don't mind this looting art at all. I think everyone's just complaining about nothing. Like her, her artwork is actually really, really good. And I follow her on Twitter now because she's just a fantastic artist. And I think she's getting a lot of shit for this. And it's, it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, like a bunch of little stuff, like little shit. That's like not even annoying. Like when I took a shower for some reason, water leaks out at a certain point, like behind the curtain. And I don't know where it leaks out from. And so I get out of the shower and there's like a little puddle of water that's leaking down. And I'm like, where did this even come from? I had the, all the curtain was completely in and the outside curtain was completely out and I don't know where this water is coming from. And it kind of frustrated me and I don't like, it's just totally not eh, little things like that. And I'm just like these little, these little irritants. And I think it's just stress. I think it's literally just stress. What are we doing here? So I think we shoot one. Elspeth conquers death another. Or this guy so that they can't get it back. And I don't think there's a card that's going to steal our Ugin. That's my belief. Plus, like, I think it's, like, like, because we're moving and we're having to get everything packed in the next three days, and I'm having to set up, like, movers and the U-Haul, and we have to figure everything out and sell some things, and it's, like, really, it's kind of obnoxious. Everybody knows how, everybody knows moving. Everybody knows it's super frustrating. But, like, for some reason, I guess not for some reason. That's a weird thing to say. I mean, it's it's getting annoying. It's right, like, it's 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 wearing on me. It's stressful finding the time to do these things. You know how it goes. Are you guys a duplicate or a duplicant? Give me that. Give me that Titan. That's not your Titan. A longer buffer, how do you mean? Like, like the, the, so this is the thing. Last January, I moved from uh, Florida to Utah. And I stayed in Utah until June because that's when Katie's uh, internship started and we didn't know where it was going to be. So it ended up being in just Colorado. And um, yeah, we'll just get Baneslayer back there. Blue red deck. So then I moved from Utah to Colorado in June. And now this June, we're moving from Colorado to another place in Colorado. And it's like... Okay, but <laughs> when does it stop? Let's attack first and see what happens. I hope he remembers his Titan. Wow. Destroy an artifact and make a treasure. You got it. So you go to five. Do we just negative 10 Ugin? Gain seven, draw seven, and seven perms go onto the battlefield. They didn't loot there, which is interesting, which tells me they do have things in their hand. Yeah, it's been a whole year, but like nonetheless, in the past two years between 2020 and 2021, this will be my third move, which is a lot in two in, in le less than two years actually. So what? Like we moved in February, like February first. So February, March, April, May. 
So in 16 months, this is my third move. Interesting, they're bouncing this and not the Ugin, which I can ultimate here. Well, we're just going to kill this guy. We have no incentive not to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, this feels better now. <sighs> but they don't get to do anything after that. I guess they get to play one land. Sure, my dude. That's really stupid. Uh, okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Tribunal. Six, sure. Infinite lands. We kept three, so now we can go Wall of Omens into Relic at the very least. Or King of Arescos. Yep, that's good. I guess we just started the game over. <laughs> you got it. I mean, I'm tapping with Brimaz here seems pretty good when they're tapped out. Especially when they're at six. Like, we just have them on the back foot because now we get to play something. If they respond to it, we get to play something. So. Oh, yeah, they only have eight cards in their deck. <laughs> they have to win in, with, with eight cards. I mean, that's seven cards. I guess it's definitely possible, especially if they have, like, a flyer. But, yeah, this guy gets rid of the Rekindling Phoenix, so that's pretty relevant. They also just might not have a play here. They played Lava Coil. Yep, they had their Flame Slash. Yep. Uh, Oracle of Thassa. Do you mean Thassa's Oracle? Oh, Phoenix is in the trash? Beautiful. So, I mean, if we have regular lands, we're just going to play regular lands. Like, I have no reason to play this when we can just actually cast it next turn if we hit a, a land. You got it. Oh, I kind of like that flashed in. Oh, I guess we could have played Bane Slayer here, and that would have probably been... Yep, that would have been better, I guess. Although Counterspell is in the graveyard. Okay, that's pretty good. What does she do? X damage to a creature of Planeswalker. We're just going to put you to three here. So they have to kill both of these, and they can with Chandra. 
but they can't with like many other things. They have hour in the graveyard, fiery confluence in the graveyard. Lava coil. They could go snapcaster, lava coil, then kill Bane Slayer. Like, do we know they have Snapcaster in hand? I mean, they have four cards in their library and five in hand, so it's very likely. They might just be trying to choose the best. Oh. Three to everything. Sweltering Suns. Seems good. If we hit a land here, it's actually pretty solid. Hmm. Cast one... Two, one, two, three, four. Thank you. I mean, I have to win with three cards, but Chandra's a threat. Spaghetti Toucher, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Yep, double emblems all across the sky. So what do we have? Four or five. We have seven mana right now, so we can Sun Titan. I do kind of like that. Take two. I mean, I feel like this is going to be a, a pretty easy counter for them. They're just going to go snap into Counterspell. Yep. Yep. Oh, look, never didn't have it. <sighs> so we're going to take three next turn. Ah, look at that. Thank you. I'm watching on YouTube and then Twitch decides to let me know you're live. Let me guess you're leaving soon. No, I'm good. Danny with the resub. Thank you, buddy. I love you guys. Really appreciate it. Yep. Three emblems. So now we're on a three turn clock. But they're on a two turn clock. I mean, we just got to try, right? Quap. Quap. Do we die first? I don't actually know. Ah! <laughs> All right. Well, we're doing it. We're doing it. My goodness. What a glorious day. I wonder if a Revel Arc is actually good enough here. Is it power? It's power, right? So what do we get? We can get Skyclave, Rydane, Wall of Omens, Selfless Spirit, Aspirant if we play Aspirant. Hmm. Interesting. I actually, Parallax Wave is interesting against Upheaval. I didn't even look like an Upheaval deck. Do they have any, like, any ramp whatsoever? Like, I didn't see any artifact ramp. They're just, like, cast it on six. It's kind of weird. Maybe Parallax Wave is just decent protection for our creatures in general. It's a policy of truth. Yeah, 
And Parallax Wave does kind of seem like the tech here. All right, spirit into probably Thank this. You. Oh, what up, Irk? Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. I mean, the problem is they have a ton of removal, so. Yeah, that's fine. We'd also have like six minutes Shut more than they do, so that's money. pretty good. Per rental con, gotta go. Thanks for the entertainment. Really appreciate the donation, buddy. Thank you for hanging out. Never again is what you swore the time before. You guys know that champ? I mean, I'm tempted to just get rid of this guy so they can't do the thing. What is my dude? My phone is like making all kinds of noises. They're just like really obnoxious. Like Watson, what are you doing? Come here, let me get you. Come here, little bud. Oh. What are you doing, Chief? You okay? How you feel? See you. I'm gonna put you down, okay? I feel like we're actually just doing a, a big aggressive here. And now we're just going to keep up Elspeth, uh, our glorious protector. That is a precious angel baby. Are they going to fire you? Snapcaster. What? Are they playing on their island from hand? Okay. Sure. Sure. Do I just run out protector here? I actually think I run out protector and then we parallax wave. No. Three, four, five. This is seven damage. Like, this seems really aggressive. Like, they go to nine here.
Yeah, top decking land is really what we want to be doing here. So if we exile this guy, they get nothing back, right? We shouldn't have exiled this. That was pretty bad, but maybe not. Did I say no? Eh, that's pretty bad. Oh, it does count. Cast. No, don't cast. Play. Yeah, we, they would have been at six here. Oh, man, I hit... Ah, how do you mess up twice in... in, in... Okay. Wait, what? Oh, they lose indestructible. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Okie dokie. Land again? No, it wasn't a land. We knew that. Okay, well, that's unfortunate, but. Yeah, we should have actually, because then when it then when this died, we would have gotten our apparition back. They wouldn't have a two two. Yeah, that was just a big misplay. Oof, I do want that actually. Let's get. This is non-token, right? I mean, there's no way this resolves, so what are you going to do? At least their Snapcaster is gone. Uh, I definitely don't wish they bring back the Legendary Roll. Legendary Roll is terrible. It was miserable. Like, people were playing Umazawa's Jitte's in their control decks just to kill Umazawa's Jitte. Like, it wasn't a fun rule. Like, you, when, when you're designing magic, you want to have, you want to maximize your player's ability to actually play their cards. One of the least fun things is losing the race to play your, if you're on the play and you play Geist of St. Traft, then, like, your opponent has to, like, play Geist of Saint. Like then then your opponent doesn't your 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 Geist of Saint trap doesn't do anything. It just gets to it just gets to sit there and kill their Geist of Saint Traft. I mean if you're playing commander, like you could literally just make a home roll where it's like legendary rule like but then again, it's like a race to whoever draws their, their card first. And that's just like not that fun for people. Like, oh, you drew it first. And then I top deck it. And I'm like, oh, okay. All it does is kill yours. Like people don't put cards in their deck to play them. They put them in their deck to, yeah, they always have fiery confluence, don't they?
Yeah, me and Mike are social distancing. That's why we... Both me, Mike and I are both fully vaccinated as well, so that's pretty sweet. What did they hit? Did I even see it? Jesus Christ. Come on, dude. It's definitely... I think this, this play definitely cost us. That's really annoying. Come on, Ugin. I can't even look because, like, if it's not... Yep, now you get to be the monarch and I just don't have any fucking creatures. Because if it, it costs... Actually, we can look because it's going to flip. <laughs> Seems good. And we know the remand is gone. Negative four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're just doing six. I don't know why I even looked. I'm just going to pass here. I don't think they have a haste creature. And like playing wall of omens to sack two of these is the same as like you get to draw two with both of these anyway. So I get to draw two if I leave them around. I get to draw one if I just play Wall of Omens. Rather just wait. Sure. You got it. Oh yeah, now we can exile your stupid bird. So eight, if we use four, then we have four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll do this for two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Play this guy. Eat your bird. You're going to do something in response with one mana? What is it, little chief? Watson keeps trying to get my attention, so I'll have to let him out after this match. I'm going to let myself out as well. You got it. Oh, they're at five cards. Like, I'm actually kind of wondering if they can even kill us here. Um, hmm. They have two minutes and four cards. So this is four, five, six, seven mana, huh? Let's, I guess we'll play a Rydane. I kind of like playing this because if they want to upheaval, it's four, five, six, seven, eight. So they're only going to have two mana instead of four. Sure. Yep, you got it. I mean, we're at five. We're definitely going to block here. And then we're going to hope they don't have Counterspell. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, Sun Titan. I'm sure they have. Oh, what? It resolved? Oh, Jesus. Baneslayer. Karn. All right. 
Well, Fiery Confluence and, and, and uh, well, Counterspell's somewhere in their deck. They have two cards left in their library. They go to one after this turn. <laughs> Fucking amazing. Oh, Lord. Never gets, never gets easier, am I right? What do you get back? Snapcaster's gone. Uh, I guess you could just get back a land here, but you have five cards, so. Yep. I mean, they actually can't upheaval because they'll just die. That was a pretty good draw if we survive this turn. They don't have Snapcaster. I don't know if they can deal four damage. Okay. Oh, they also have 40 seconds. Interesting. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seventeen, and ten. We're one mana shy of doing everything. It's one, two, three, four, five. We'll play Bane Slayer. I don't think they have a counterspell here. Oh, they do. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Well, I mean, we still have three cards on board. Only one of their threats is lethal. I guess, and they're probably just going to kill us. I'm pretty sure they have. They have their whole deck in their hand. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven. All their lands are gone, so this is just all spells. Sure. That does not seem like it does it. Are we winning this game when they have zero cards and nine seconds left on the board? <laughs> wow! 3-0 with the mono white deck. That's amazing. Wow. Finally, not only broke the streak, but trophied in the very next draft. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to follow on Twitch. Subscribe on Twitch. Do all the things that help me pay for the rent and food and clothing and put a roof over my head. And I love you guys. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time.